Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm out of here driving right now. Um, so, I decided to make a video just ranting about Uber and Lyft passengers. And I wanted to give you guys some tips for how to not aggravate your Uber driver. It's a simple few things here. There's really not a lot to it. Okay, so one thing. Order your ride when you're ready. It's very simple. Don't order the ride until you're ready. It's just that easy. Um, okay, now second the, the thing is, um, if you're not ready and I show up there, it's going to be irritating after I get there because I, especially in this city where I'm at, half the time I've driven 15 minutes to come get you. So it's really bewildering to me how it is that you're not ready. But that's okay. I can get over that because it's fine. I, you got five minutes, okay? Second thing. Okay, the, I really already said the second thing. The third thing. Don't come to your door and wave at me asking for more time. Okay, number one and two were so important that if you didn't get that right, then you missed it. You missed your chance. And lastly, if you are that person walking to the door, looking at me like, hey, can I get more time? Don't send your kid to my car. Don't send your children out to my car to secure your ride. You don't know who I am, okay? Like, don't do that. Come on, dude. I wouldn't send my child out into your car. It's not going to happen. There's no way. Like, it's... This is parenting one-on-one right here. Don't send your child to a stranger's car. What in the world? I'm just going to tell them, look, little boy, look, little girl, go back to your parents, okay? Your mom, your dad, whatever. Go back to them. And you, as a mom or dad, as a parent, just, wow. Like, wow. Come on, guys. Uh, like, I know that I, I'm being taught by the world very often that you can't expect much from people. And I get that. But wow, guys. This is just from, not even from tonight. I was just kind of dwelling on this, thinking about it from a few days ago. And it's just not right to do this stuff, guys. Like, Uber and Lyft drivers, do, like, people that do what I do, like, like, I mean, look at it go, right? Okay. We make peanuts. We don't make good money. Okay? Like, Especially in a city like I'm at, I'm not in some giant metropolitan area where I can count on several hundred dollars a night. No. No. Okay? Especially when you're in a smaller town, you really got to value other people's time. And it's just... Okay. I think, I think that's about it. I mean, honestly, with this thing, there's 10,000 things that I can complain about. Um... Don't jump in the car asking for the aux cable either. That's just rude. I'm talking to you college kids, okay? Don't ask for the aux cable. <laughs> Don't do it. Uh, Alright, guys. I appreciate y'all. A um, lot more music coming soon. A um, lot of good things going on. Just uh, trying, to, trying to make it right right now. Alright, guys. I appreciate y'all. Have a good one. And, uh... Follow tips one through four. Your driver will be uh, a little bit happier with you. At the very least, they won't start out upset with you. <laughs> All right. All right. So that's uh that's the tips on how to begin your Uber ride without aggravating your driver. Okay. Because after you do any of those things that I mentioned, it's not going to be a good ride. I don't want to speak to you anymore. Basically, if it's like that. Alright guys, 
appreciate everything. Y'all have a great night. Um, I'm going to try to stay out here and make a little bit of money. Um, then probably get back to the house and produce some more music. Um, Y'all have a good night. And uh, I apologize for the big delay.